Hi, we are Tim Diana from Politecnico di Torino. For this year's European Rover Challenge, we are proud to present a new and enhanced version of our Rover Ardito. The team was born in 2008 together with Amalia, our first lunar rover developed to participate in the Google Lunar X Prize competition. Since then, hundreds of students have participated with passion in the creation of lunar and Martian rovers. Our team is arranged into four departments and two special purpose groups, with every department being further organized into groups. Then the team is managed by the leading board, which counts the department leaders, the project manager and the team leader. In order to enhance the decision-making process, this year we also introduced a new support board composed of expert team members and group coordinators. ERC 2022 is a big opportunity for us. It is an occasion to challenge ourselves in a space-like project and to understand our collective and singular strengths and weaknesses. We also aim to achieve useful skills for our future work careers and to meet experienced people in the space industry. Ardito is designed as a modular platform capable of adapting to several operational scenarios. The basic configuration sees the mobility system, power and avionics, onboard data management and the robotic arm. In addition, the rover can host different payloads according to the mission needs. Thanks to a custom-made 35Ah lithium-ion battery, Ardito has 3 hours of autonomy. The power is distributed to all electrical components through a team-designed power distribution unit, while a power controller board monitors and records system consumption. Avionics is distributed among several layers, including the main onboard computer, the main control units of the mobility, the robotic arm and the power. The mobility system and robotic arm, while being independent, implement a common architecture. The main control unit, which processes commands and feedback, is connected via CAN or serial bus to lower layer boards, which are interfaced directly with sensor and actuators. The locomotion structure of Ardito consists of a rocker boogie terrain mobility system, equipped with six independent wheels, four of which are capable of steering. The wheels are made of spring steel, increasing grip on harsh terrain. The differential system connects the two rocker boogies and guarantees stability over uneven surfaces. A velocity controller, based on the Hackerman steering geometry, drags the mobility directly through velocity and angle. On a higher level, a position controller can be activated to autonomously drive the rover to the desired point. System and environment safety is achieved through three defensive layers. The first one is software implemented and acts on two levels. A remotely triggered abort command can halt communication to the system control units. Instead, a timeout inside the mobility and arm control units stops any system movement if the connection with the onboard computer is lost. The second layer is our custom designed power distribution unit that monitors system power consumption and can directly cut power to a single faulty component. The third and final layer is directly connected to the power source and acts directly on the batteries. Its activation, either automatic or manual via the emergency stop button, cuts the power to the entire rover, immediately stopping any movement. Ardito is able to interact with the surroundings thanks to a 6 degrees of freedom robotic arm. Then the factor, placed on the top of the arm, is equipped with modular fingertips that can be interchanged for different tasks and integrated with external tools. Thanks to a camera, force and proximity sensor, then the factor can be manipulated with high accuracy. A controlling algorithm, based on inverse kinematics, permits the autonomous movement of the arm just by giving it the desired coordinates. Onboard data handling is performed by a Linux-based NVIDIA Jetson Xavier. This software, running on the rover, is divided into layers of abstraction, with each level taking advantage of the one below. All of the abstraction stack is fully developed by the computer science department. The operator and the video software can sense the surroundings due to several cameras. A stereo camera placed on the front of the rover retrieves the point cloud map of the surroundings 
and the position of the rover, while a USB camera placed on the robotic arm provides visual feedback to the operator. Ardito is connected to the base station console thanks to a Wi-Fi access point over the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies. All rover modules are connected via Ethernet and can communicate via the MQTT protocol. The ground segment is mainly composed of a computer. The human-machine interaction happens there on a standalone web app, where we developed modules to control the rover and monitor data elaborated on board. This year, the scientific group chose to study the winds that blow in the Mars yard. We will first study rock deterioration to assess past winds, that from a preliminary study they should be coming from southwest, and compare them to nowadays winds to better understand the story behind this Mars region. This study is important for future colonization of the Red Planet, as knowing the winds will be a stepping stone to use wind power as a power generator alongside others such as solar and nuclear. The sampling system is a standalone unit designed to collect continuous and undisturbed subsurface samples of soil. It is composed of three subsystems, sampler, percussion system and lifting system, each one equipped with dedicated sensors. Every subsystem has been tested and designed in order to maximize the recovery rate of the sampler in a soil simulating the Martian regolith with different degrees of consolidation. We are very proud and happy of our work this year more than ever. Thanks for this opportunity. We can't wait to meet you and all the other teams in Kjeld. Stay Diana, stay Mambo. <laughs>